They're looking down on us from heaven. It's what the family of three young children killed in an overnight house fire says is their strength during a very difficult time. Good evening and thanks for joining us. We've been closely following this story all day and new tonight, we're hearing from more of the family about the loss. Not on your sides, John Genovese is live now at the home where a memorial has been growing all evening. John? Julie, family members are still trying to understand how this all happened. Many of them actually live in this neighborhood. Take a look, you can see Memorial on the street corner. It's grown bigger every hour. Some folks out there paying their respects right now. All to three kids who, by all accounts, left their mark on this community. Stuffed animals crowd a single wooden cross, three candles, and cans of Coke. It's a small memory, just one of many. We brought their drinks, the favorite drink. Buy some candles out for him. One for each. Each of his cousins, seven year old Alexander Flores Ortiz, 10 year old Ciclali, and 12 year old Yesenia, trapped on the second floor of their home, unable to escape the flames. They were energetic. They always smiled, laughed. We went up on that hill right there and uh, we would have this um, <laughs> Barbie go kart and we would go down the hill really fast with it, all of us on it. Dad tried but couldn't make it to the trio's bedroom. He was found unconscious and airlifted to the hospital. Mom and her two-year-old were treated and released. The fire was everywhere and we feel so bad because we couldn't do nothing to help them. Yesenia Corona woke up to the blaze. Her nieces and nephew lived right next door. We don't believe that they're not here no more. We're not gonna forget there's there's miles. Investigators are sifting through the debris one piece at a time. The cause of the, of the fire remains unclear. Still, for those that knew them. Pray and all that for them because they're angels right now and they're going to take care of us. The memories for this family more vivid than ever. We're not going to forget you guys. We, you guys going to be always in our hearts. <laughs> we, we're going to meet you guys a lot. Tonight, family members tell us Crystal Flores, the mother of those children, is beside her husband Israel at UC Medical Center. Neighbors say a Christmas tree may have tipped over and sparked that fire. That has not yet been determined by investigators. They'll be back out here tomorrow to continue sifting through that debris. For now, reporting live, John Genovese, 9 on your side.